Well, today, one of North America's early spring moths has emerged. Meet the Nessus Sphinx, sometimes called the hummingbird moth, as they are often found hovering over flowers sipping nectar. Although diminutive, the moth has some beautiful coloring, camouflaging shades of gray, burnt orange, and darker browns all mixed together, creating this beautiful flying palette. Notice how well the moth blends into tree bark in the shade, helping it to hide from every flying and crawling thing that would like to make a meal out of them. This moth is warming up its wings by shivering, getting ready to take flight since I've been handling it. Take a look at its tufted tail created with special scales that appear like feathers. Notice the light cream tips on the edges of the antenna, all tiny details that help it to blend in. Now it is settling down, lowering its antenna and getting settled in to rest, a behavior common in sphinxes. Nessa sphinx are one of the few day flying moths, so if you're lucky, you might catch one of these visiting your flowers in spring. One way to identify them is by the stripe on its abdomen. There are actually two of them, but in this current position, you can only view one. That and its tufted tail are Nessus giveaways. Its underside has interesting colors as well, lots of white spots and deep burnt orange in contrast to its all dark top side. So if you're in North America, keep your eye out for one of these beauties. They might be visiting your garden shortly. And thanks for watching with me.